Hi, I'm Danny and welcome to another Tech Fix video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a free piece of interactive whiteboard software called ProWise Presenter. So hi, welcome to TechFix, I'm Danny. If you haven't seen our videos before, we tend to look at science or educational technology. If that sounds like your thing, please click like or subscribe below. If you're new to ProWise, it's completely browser-based now, so not like version 9 where you could download something for your computer. This is all done through the, the web. There is an iOS app and an Android app for tablets if you want to go that route. So it's www.prowise.com. When you get ProWise open, it looks very much like um, notebook or Active Studio. The um, toolbars are, are down the bottom now, so you have this little floating toolbar which has most of the tools that you're going to want to use, and you also then have a little docs toolbar in the bottom left corner and a, a smaller one in the bottom right corner which you can also use. The, um, the toolbar is split very slightly, so if you're used to having a selection tool and a moving tool, uh, they're down here on the blue, and then all your drawing tools and writing tools, pen, text, shapes and eraser are down there on the bottom and you can move this toolbar around to wherever you want it to go. Let's start with the basic tools first of all. You have a pencil tool just here. If I click on the pencil tool you then get a choice of thicknesses. Um, you can change the size of the stroke by dragging a slider across. You can change the colour Next to that is a pen tool. The pen is probably more for calligraphy than anything else. Again, you've got a choice of colors and a choice of thicknesses. So you can choose the color you want to write with and write like that. Next to the pen, you have a highlighter. And again, you have a choice of basic highlighter colors and a choice of thicknesses. So you can scribble on top using the highlighter tool. So at the moment, I've just been scribbling. I haven't been moving anything. There is an eraser tool next to there. So I can use the, the eraser and it's a, an all or nothing eraser. You've got a choice of different thicknesses as you want it. But with a lot of this, you're basically rubbing out the entirety. So let's just write something on the screen. Hello. And do a scribble. If I want to just move that around, I can click on the hand, uh, the finger, and I can just click and drag and move those items around on the screen. If I select those and I click on the icon, which is the same icon, the box with the arrow inside it, that's where I get my options like cut, copy, duplicate, uh, I can group things. So if I select all of those things, then I should be able to go to group and group them into one object and move them around. If I then move them with the hand, they'll all move together as one thing. The protractor and ruler icon gives me a section of math tools, so I have uh, an on-screen stopwatch, should I want it, which I can make bigger and smaller and should be able to move around. I can bring up a set square. I can bring up a protractor if I want. I can drag it, make it bigger, make it smaller. And I should be able to move those around, rotate and so on. Click on the pen should allow me to draw around the edge of the protractor. Arrows, as you'd expect, again, you can change the thickness, you can change the color, and you can have straight line arrows or proper arrows. There we go, proper arrows, um, connecting dots, and so on. I can also go to shapes, and the same thing. I can choose a shape, and I can draw a shape. Choose a fill color from there, like so. Outside color is here, and the fill color is there. So if we choose a fill color, I can drag a shape. And again, shapes can then be moved around, like so. Final tool is the text tool, which, as you expect, is simply allowing you to write. You can choose your font, you can choose your size, you can call an on screen keyboard up should you need it if you're at a board and not have a keyboard in front of you. Um, and again, once you've selected your text, text can be moved around, hidden under shapes, and then obviously you can then reveal, select, click on there change the order, I can send the shape backwards like so and I can therefore want to select both of those and 
I can group them together and now there's one text box with a, a background fill. As well as, as those options we have a few other things that are worth looking at. One is the, the file button down here that lets you um, import if you want to import from Smart Notebook or from PowerPoint or so on and you can export it as a whiteboard file export it locally to save it on your, on your computer or you can save it um, to the, the cloud, ProWise cloud save or save as as normal. Um, it gives you its own little file area the, the other buttons worth a look is the media button which is here, the media library and as you'd expect there is um, a load of things in here which are useful we have 3D models so we can drag things like a 3D heart onto the screen which will pop up like that and that's a completely rotatable shape I can move it around I should be able to click on it and stretch it if I want to make it bigger on the screen go back to the hand and the hand will let me spin it around as well as that there's a whole wealth of other objects Roman soldiers volcanoes and so on in the 3d models bit there are illustrations so there are clip art images as you'd expect biology pictures um, earth science pictures and so on you also have a, a library of sound effects and sounds there are some backgrounds already so if you want to use your line paper or you want to use graph paper you can just double click on this and put graph paper on the screen um, there are tools which are quite good and worth some time exploring quite a lot in the way of maths tools, so calculators, uh, multiplications, uh, tables, uh, clocks, there are um, some science tools in there, a periodic table and so on, but um, probably the maths are going to get the most out of that. Images are your, your photographs, but within this it lets you do a, a search, so you can search um, keyword. Um, so we can type a keyword search in there and we can find images and we can put those into our screen like that. There we go. And also it searches Flickr and so on. And again, there's a YouTube search. So if you wanted to embed a YouTube straight into here, you could type a uh, keyword in or a thing you're looking for in YouTube. It will add a YouTube video straight into your page uh, where you can play it. So here's one I prepared earlier. Let's put that in there. And it puts it in my page for me. I click on here and that will let me move these items around on the screen um, back to the finger and the finger will then let me play it as part of the page but I could also click on it and view it as part of YouTube if I wanted to. That's it as a starting point there is um, Pro Connect which was part of version 9 uh, as well Pro Connect is a little different at the moment again why this is still not fully finished um, it only lets you do voting, so you click on start and participants can connect via their other devices, via um, anything that can get onto the web, basically via the ProConnect app um, or via a browser, but it only lets you do voting for the moment. The sharing the screen, having students scribble on the screen and send it back in isn't in version 10 yet. Um, I'm hoping that will come at some point down the line. The beauty of ProWise 10 is it's free, so you can sign up for a ProWise account and use it. As long as you've got an internet connection, you can get onto ProWise 10 and use it. It will import Smart Notebook files, it won't import um, Promethean files, so you'll have to sort of find a workaround for that. It will import PowerPoints as well and other file formats. It's pretty impressive for free bit of software. If you can't get Smart Notebook or Promethean in your schools and you want an alternative, this is definitely worth having a look at. And the, the, the voting feature is quite nice, it's built into the slime. Keep an eye on the ProWise site, there'll be updates and developments as, as they come along. So that's ProWise hope you enjoyed that video thank you for watching as I said before please click on like or click on subscribe so you get these videos sent straight to you uh, I'll do more of these in the future and hopefully a few more uh, ProWise tutorials as well as tutorials for things like Smartboard um, and Promethean Board as well thanks for your time